Welcome back to DHN. Let's talk crypto. The SEC has been on a tear in recent weeks. January 19th, they sent a cease and desist order to Nexo for their unregistered lending product. On February 9th, the SEC sued Kraken for offering staking as a service products to US investors. The attention has turned to Binance's flagship stablecoin, BUSD, as the Wall Street Journal reports the SEC intends to sue Paxos, the issuer of BUSD stablecoin. Paxos has received a Wells notice from the SEC, which means they intend to file charges against Paxos for the unregistered offering of BUSD. The next stage is the decision will go to a vote and Paxos will be given 30 days to respond to this letter. Prior to this, the New York State Department forced Paxos to stop minting new BUSD, citing a lack of oversight by Paxos in relation to Binance. The State Department added, it is important to note that the department only approved Paxos issued BUSD on the Ethereum blockchain. The department has not authorized Binance pegged BUSD on any blockchain and Binance pegged BUSD is not issued by Paxos. There is currently no restriction on the listing or exchange in New York of existing Paxos issued BUSD by DFS licensed entities. It's important to know that Paxos only acts as the issuer of BUSD. They do it by pegging BUSD on the Ethereum blockchain. So what customers are getting is not the native BNB stablecoin, but a duplicate that lives on the Ethereum blockchain. According to CZ, BUSD is wholly owned and operated by Paxos. All of Binance's funds are safe. If BUSD is ruled to be a security, we will look for other options. He added, we will see a gradual decline in market cap as users migrate to other stablecoins. Things are moving quickly. CoinGate reported this morning that a large amount of BUSD is being converted to Tether, forcing the BUSD to depeg from its Tether pairing. Remember though, this is ETH-based BUSD and not Binance USD. One is pegged to another stablecoin, the latter is pegged to the dollar itself. Data from Curve's three pool shows 242 million in trading volume between the two pairings. The market cap of BUSD fell overnight, while Tether is now up to $68 billion. This all has the community a bit puzzled, me included, because whether it's on Ethereum or Binance, how can you call a stablecoin a security? It would totally stand against the Howey test, mainly because there is no promise of a return on your investment. This has many thinking that USDC Circle could be under investigation next. Currently, that remains unclear, but what is clear, we are surely seeing some global stablecoin arrangements being made. Now this document here I was going to produce a full video on, but as things have shifted a bit, I want to wait a while before really tearing into this. However, you should read this review by Fordham University law student Nicholas E. Gonzalez. In it, he describes hypothetically what enforcement by the SEC would look like and how exchanges and other crypto platforms could potentially protect themselves from the SEC. You'll also notice that this was written in October, after the SEC first said that ETH 2.0 could make it a security. That's all for this one. Be sure to subscribe for the latest as this is an ongoing story. Links to the official DHN Crypto Journal will be in the description. As always, I'm Wade Teamer. See you in the next one.